11, and I know most of us in, in this room are painfully uh, familiar <coughs> with, uh, even personally familiar with the events of that day, as well as, frankly, the recent bombings in Boston. How will you work to improve interagency coordination between the NYPD, FBI, and, ever, and other state and federal agencies? And as a small secondary question, what is your position on the use of unmanned systems or drones in order to prosecute that effort? Thank you. We've come a long way in New York in coordination between federal and state and local law enforcement, and we need to reinforce it even more. During the Bloomberg administration, they've essentially dismantled the Office of Emergency Management. The value of the Office of Emergency Management is not everything disaster that happens is a criminal justice type of disaster. Um, what happened on, uh, just as an example, even though it wasn't domestic terrorism, it was Mother Nature uh, that caused what happened in Sandy, there was no incident commander in either Staten Island or in the Rockaways. And for days, the people there said, who's in charge? Who's in charge? And actually, it's going on today. We'll be in Staten Island tomorrow. It's going to be a number one issue. Who's in charge? The coordination between the federal government and the state government and the city government needs to be coordinated from a pro point of view of protocol. Who's in charge? What impressed me about what happened in Boston, the bombs went off at about 2.50 in the afternoon, and by 3.15, the mayor of Boston said, the FBI is in charge of the investigation. Very, very important thing, but it's rare to see something like that happen, and they absolutely coordinated it from top to bottom. And the same thing needs to happen here in New York. Um, Ray Kelly has done a much better job of coordinating with the, with the FBI uh, over the last couple of years. The fact of the matter is, he's also done, I think, in many ways, a lot better job than our federal law enforcement has done when it comes to terrorism. Because what Ray has been able to put together with his, with his intel team is extraordinary, and it's a model for the rest of the country. And it's one that we should, you know, we should be very, very thankful for what Ray Kelly has done. As far as drones are concerned, the use of unmanned drones in the city of New York, I think the question was, am I for it or how do we use it? I'm absolutely for it. If you think about what happened in Boston, if you think about the fact that they used a helicopter with infrared uh, that uh, the, the last remaining uh, 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 bug involved here was actually hiding in a uh, canvas-covered boat. We could have used, a, they could have used a, very much a drone to do the same thing that they could have done with a helicopter. I'm not, I don't think, I don't think drones to be used from a, from a surveillance point of view, so long as it understands people's privacy rights, uh, that's, a, you know, we can use them. They're not to be used in a military fashion that we'd be using them in the Middle East, but from collecting intelligence, from following what's going on. A drone is no different than having a camera on the, on the street corner, watching what you're doing in a public place. And we now know how important cameras are, so how quickly uh, law enforcement was able to catch the people in Boston. So, in answer to the question, I will appoint a police commissioner, if Ray Kelly, I've said this publicly, if Ray wants to say as police commissioner, more than happy to have him stay as police commissioner. If he doesn't want to be the police commissioner, I will ask him to help me find the best possible person to be the police commissioner in New York. And it'll be my responsibility to make sure that everybody plays well together on behalf of all of the people. Okay. When I thought about running for mayor in the city of New York, the first thing I thought about was that that's a heavy responsibility to, to, that you're going to undertake it, to keep people safe. I mean, any one of us. That's a, a really challenging thought to have. And then I thought about the great people that have served us uh, as civilians in charge of the police department. And I reached out for counsel to a former police commissioner, he's Irish too, um, for advice. And I think that what Joe said about Mayor Bloomberg and Commissioner Kelly keeping us safe and doing it fantastic job over these past 11 years is exactly right. But I think that if you want to look for indispensable people, go to the cemetery and read the names. There aren't any. Uh, we're all in this together. Now, we have to work, and we, would, we will work with the FBI and the other branches of law enforcement, but what we have to depend on is ourselves and working together. And I think you saw that in Boston, and I think that in New York we're even more advanced than that in terms of being aware of, of our surroundings and um, you know watching out for one another. As far as the technology 
is really what we're talking about, right? Drones are a part of this invasive technology that we deal with, you know, all the time. It's right here. So what happened in Boston? You know, it was a combination of people working together. They used private department store uh, uh, videos. They used photographs from the people, the videos that were taken there. And you know how far advanced we are? That if you go downtown, they can tell the color. If I have on a red sweater, and I'm walking on Canal Street, or I'm walking on Chambers Street, or I'm uh, over by the water, they can find me just by wearing the red sweater. They have the facial recognition technology, and the cameras are going to be a part of our life, whether we like it or not. And the drones, obviously, I don't want a drone looking in my bedroom. And I think that all of us have to stay vigilant about the line where our individual freedoms and, and our collective responsibilities begin. Mr. Kessler. I was the first one six months ago, five months ago, to support Ray Kelly and make a commitment that Ray Kelly was my guy. I think the knowledge that he possesses, you can't buy. The knowledge that he is fighting not only domestic crime and hoodlums in the streets, you can't buy. The knowledge he possesses on fighting terrorism from the outside world, you can't buy. Uh, I think we have to use 21st century technology that we talked about to help keep New Yorkers safe. And I'm fully committed to anything that exists to keep New Yorkers safe. I will press that button and make sure it happens.